meteorologist at maybe the National Weather Center? You know, maybe a little bit, uh, but my forecast was tremendous. It was great, uh, and everybody loved it. Okay. So there you have it. And the president could be sitting there watching right now, so there you have it. Yeah, it was tremendous. Um, right. I will say that, uh, you know, we did very well north and west of town. Uh, we didn't quite get the heavy, heavy burst of precipitation in town that I thought would maybe give us five inches as opposed to three, but mm -hmm. all in all, we arrived on time. We talked about it four days in advance. Absolutely right. All right, let's talk about accumulations. Uh, some of these are actually new. We're getting kind of new stuff in, dribs and drabs here. Cumberland, 10 inches. Uh, great cake upon 12 inches, a foot. And we said some areas would have a foot. Uh, Leesburg, 4 inches. Nashville, 2 inches. But Dulles did come in with almost five, uh, 6 inches, 5.6. We had three inches here in Northwest. Live look outside to our live Michael and Son weather cam down to 35, but many of the burbs already below freezing. Winds Northwest gusting to 32. We had a wind gust of 44 the last hour. Radar, a couple of uh, snow showers, snow flurries pushing uh, down the river. So don't be surprised if you see a couple of snowflakes tonight. Not going to accumulate. And eventually we're going to end up with partly cloudy skies. But you know, we're looking at a little snow shower, maybe a little flurry. Uh, Germantown to Laytonsville on the east side of 270, and also. Uh, down to the southwest of uh, Frederick into upper Loudoun County. So yellow weather alert tomorrow, primarily for black ice and low wind chills. Uh, bus stop temperatures 18 to 32. There will be some slick spots. And again, if it looks wet, it's probably frozen. That's what black ice is all about. Takes you by surprise. It's going to remain below freezing until 11 o'clock or so north and west of town, and it's going to be blustery all day with wind chills in the teens and 20s. It is going to be really in terms of this winter, one of our coldest days. You're going to feel one of our coldest days because of the winds. 10 o'clock tonight, we're 30 downtown, but we're already, already in the 20s in the burbs, and then boom, 6 o'clock in the morning, everyone's in the low 20s, some upper teens, Damascus 19, 18 in places like Winchester. Maybe Romney, 18, 19. By mid-morning, we're in the 20s. I think future cast is a little bit low with this with these temps, but still, it drives the uh, the point home. <laughs> 30 downtown, 27 in Frederick, and 27 in Gaithersburg, and that's at 1 o'clock. Again, I think it's a little bit low. I think you're going to creep up above freezing, but not far above freezing. Everybody holds in the 30s tomorrow, which is kind of hard to do in March. Got a pretty high sun angle with spring are about seven days away. By 6 o'clock, we're upper 20s, low 30s. And then by tomorrow night, we fall pretty quickly back into the 20s by evening. This is what you sort of have to, these are the numbers you need to remember before you uh, get the kids dressed tomorrow. Uh, 10 o'clock tonight, it feels like it's 10 in Gaithersburg, about 17 downtown. But by morning, and again, some schools may be on time, even with a, even with a delay tomorrow, this isn't going to change much. It feels like it's 8 in Leesburg, 6 in Manassas, 10 in Fredericksburg. And by noon, again, hasn't changed a bunch. Low to mid-teens for wind chills. This is a forecast, yes. Feels like it's 9 in Gaithersburg. And then by 6 o'clock uh, tomorrow evening, we're back in the teens for wind chills, 13 in uh, Hagerstown, but even down to the south, 19 in La Plata. So wind chills will be with us right on through tomorrow. Tonight, clear to party, cloudy, windy, very cold, a stray flurry, early wind chills, teens and 20s, low temperatures 18 to 28 and winds west northwest at 15 to 30 and gusty. All right, day planner, 20s to start, some clouds. Little upper air disturbance rolls through tomorrow. Could kick off a couple of flurries, maybe a snow shower. Uh, temperatures by 1 o'clock will be about 35. It will get above freezing downtown. Thursday, a little better. Sunshine, 45, but still seasonally cold. Our average high is like 55 now. Uh, evening showers on Friday, uh, St. Patty's Day. Not a big washout, though. Saturday, a few showers, 54. Sunday's cool, but nice. And then we're back to 55 on Monday with a few showers. And back to 60 on Tuesday. With those 60s, though, will come up more showers. Bruce will be back right after this. WUSA 9 News.